One village is afraid of becoming a dumping ground for sex offenders, so they want to restrict where those convicts can live. Shannon Sims is in Sturdivant tonight for a story that's new at 10. Shannon. You know, this small village, it's hard not to find a child playing anywhere in the streets or in a playground like this one. And one trustee tonight says he has a strong message for violent sex offenders. They're not welcomed here. Yeah. When Bodie holds tight to little Laura Lai, keeping her children safe is her top priority. Especially when it comes to this little one here. To learn a violent sex offender could be living feet away from where her children play and learn doesn't sit well with this mother of four. I don't think that violent sex offenders belong in Sturdivant or, well, anywhere near kids for that matter. Recently, the city of Racine made it tougher for the state to house sex offenders near schools, daycares, and playgrounds in their community. Now, the village of Sturdivant wants to do the same. This map shows more than a dozen sex offenders living in the village of Sturdivant, one of them less than 400 feet away from this school. A village trustee wants to change that. You basically want to send a message that they're not welcomed here. Uh, they, they are not, not welcome here, and um, we are going to be requesting that the state not, not place them here. Here, where trustee Chris Larson and Gwen Bodie agree, a new ordinance would protect the most vulnerable of the village, the children. The kids are so willing to trust people, and you want them to be able to trust people, and you don't want those type of people in their neighborhood messing with their trust. The board is now reviewing the ordinance. Live in Sturdivant, Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4. Shannon, thank you very much. New